City Hall estimates that there's about 90,000 rideshare vehicles operating in Toronto. Almost everywhere you go in the city, you'll see those stickers on vehicles. Now, it's a similar story in Los Angeles, where that city's mayor is currently looking at forcing all rideshare vehicles to become electric. It's no secret the streets of Toronto are packed, jam-packed. Many have mused that the rise of rideshare on the streets isn't helping. The city says they finally have a handle on the amount of Uber and Lyft cars prowling the roads at any given time. Our data from the congestion management study and other studies that we've done see it's, r it's roughly around 5,000 as the average. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. The eye test might lead you to believe that it's more than 5,000 more often than not. Toronto City Hall recently declared a climate emergency, so one has to assume that having thousands of more carbon-emitting vehicles choking the roads is an issue. Enter another traffic haven, Los Angeles. In an effort to become carbon neutral by 2050, LA Mayor Eric Garcetti recently told the Financial Times, we have the power to regulate car share. Going on to say, we can mandate and are looking closely at mandating that any of those vehicles in the future be electric. It's an idea that has the wheels turning here in Toronto as well. We want to learn from anyone on how you can improve. And if it's, if it's California, if it's New York, if it's the Netherlands, we're, we're willing to look at it. Though Toronto's Municipal License and Standards Department says if an electric bylaw was to be passed, it would have to include traditional taxis as well. What we need to understand is how you phase that in. And do you phase it in in such a way that it's not impactful on the people that have just made purchases of vehicles or converted to propane? The mayor's office has also weighed in, telling City News that City of Toronto staff are studying this along with how it could be realistically implemented right now. Mayor Tory and a majority of councillors voted last year to endorse the goal of ensuring 100% of Toronto's vehicles for hire are using low carbon energy by 2050. In a statement to City News, Lyft says they've been proud to expand its electric vehicle fleets in Seattle, Atlanta and most recently in Denver. Uber declined to comment specifically on electric vehicles, opting to say in a statement that the company is committed to supporting more efficient and sustainable ways to help get more people from point A to point B. We are investing in product innovations and initiatives that reduce the carbon intensity of our platform. We also spoke with one of Toronto's largest taxi companies to see if they would be on board. We're never going to be opposed to talking about things that are going to improve the environment or uh, contribute to uh, a healthier climate. It, it just doesn't make sense. And later this year, city staff will be releasing a report that looks at vehicle emission standards and targets for the entire vehicle for hire industry.